Now to properly time the engine, we're going to have to first install the primary and secondary exhaust sprockets and properly align them with the intake sprocket which is already installed. Now you can see the primary timing chain has already been pulled up and over the camshaft hub and the secondary timing chain tensor has been removed. This will allow us to insert the exhaust camshaft sprocket and position it correctly without obstruction. First we will need to install the primary exhaust sprocket. As you can see, the chains are already out of the way and the camshaft has been locked in top dead center. Now to install the sprocket, we will need to align the thread of holes on the camshaft tub with the slots on the sprocket. Now these holes are going to need to be biased to the left side of each slot. You will notice when doing this, there are arrows both at the top and at the bottom stamped into the sprocket. These have no bearing on how the engine is timed. These are merely for reference when reassembling. Now as you can see I've inserted the sprocket around the timing chain with the arrows roughly pointing up and down. Though unfortunately this has ended up with threaded holes biased to the right. Now you do not need to remove the entire sprocket just to make a small adjustment. You can simply pull off of the tub and slowly move the chain one link at a time over the top of the sprocket. This will move it slightly to the left or right allowing you to get it into the position that you want. Now as you can see with that slight adjustment the arrows are now pointing even more than before and the thread of holes are now biased properly to the left of the slots in the sprocket. Now we'll proceed to install the secondary exhaust sprocket. As you can see I've already installed the secondary timing chain tensioner body with the four bolts that hold in place torqued to about 89 inch pounds. Now you can see the intake sprocket has slots on it. This will only allow it to turn a few degrees in each direction. This is the actual motion that takes place when the vanos is activated and deactivated, which retards and advances the camshaft timing accordingly. The secondary exhaust sprocket also has slots. We will be positioning these slots to allow the maximum amount of travel in relation to the travel of the intake sprocket. Now, making sure there are no kinks in the chain, go ahead and slide on the secondary exhaust sprocket onto the hub. Roughly, I've lined up this arrow with the one behind it, just for reference. Now, looking down, you can see one hole roughly at the end of each slot. Go ahead and move the chain left and right to see how these line up. Now as you can see, and with one full motion, they're nowhere near the ends of the slots where they should be. Much like the primary sprocket, we're going to have to make slight adjustments to this one in order to get it into the position that we want. Alright. Now as you can see, moving back to the front, with the chain pulled all the way in one direction, the thread of holes on the camshaft hub are aligned all the way to the left of each slot. I'm going to go ahead and use the sprocket turning tool or to fully rotate these in the opposite direction. Now fully rotate you can see that the holes are still visible though now aligned all the way to the right of each slot. This will allow full travel between the two sprockets. This is the common mistake made when timing these engines. Because you can actually make it one tooth off and the engine will still run. Though the timing will be off and it will run very poorly. Now you can go ahead and proceed to install the thrust washer 
on the exhaust sprocket. Go ahead and just place it inside the cup and use a pick to line it up with the holes on the camshaft hub. Now you can take the four Torx bolts and with an A10 socket go ahead and just hand thread them in. You don't want to fully tighten them as we're still going to need to make some adjustments when we install the vano unit. Now over here to the intake sprocket you can see there are three nuts on the three studs. These need to be torqued down to about 89 inch pounds. This will sandwich the entire assembly with the spring planes behind here against the camshaft tub and lock in the entire assembly. Over here, these Torx bolts need to actually be tightened down in two stages. First to about 44 inch pounds, and then to 17 foot pounds. Though these will be done after you install the valve assembly.